Hi, uh, my name is Wade Harvey and from idealprogrammer.com and today I'm talking about uh, how to use abstract spoons to do list and uh, David Allen's uh, getting things done approach to uh, organize yourself and uh, getting things done and the first step is to download uh, the abstract spoon uh, free to do list you can just uh, google that and uh, you can download it. And the sec second step is to watch this video, uh, and the third step is to review my notes uh, on uh, GDD below. So what I'm doing today is uh, I'm going through these notes and uh, helping you uh, to get a, a quick start. So horizons of focus. Uh, these are notes on David Allen's uh, GTD technique. Uh, horizons of focus. It should all be in line with each other. If your uh, 50,000 foot purpose is uh, not uh, in alignment with your uh, things that you're working on each day, then you're not working uh, together. So the, the, at the 50,000 foot level, the purpose, uh, what's the purpose of your life? Like to maximize fulfillment of the human race, starting with the people nearest you or whatever your purpose is. And at the 40,000 feet, do you have your vision? What would I look like? A concrete image if I was living that purpose. And at 30,000 feet, I have responsibilities. What, what are my responsibilities in addition to trying to getting things done? Uh, what roles do I play? I'm a student. I'm a father. I'm a worker. Whatever. Uh, that uh, kind of, you need to take those into account. At the 20,000 foot level, you have your projects, and these can be anywhere from a month to a couple of years in the future. And in the, uh, at the 10,000 foot level, when you're looking at it, uh, these are your next actions, the concrete steps that you need to accomplish to get your projects done. Now, David uh, Allen makes a good point that uh, uh, carrying all this stuff around in our brains uh, it gives us a lot of psychic stress. So. He recommends distrib what he calls distributed cognition. That's just writing things down. Uh, and that will reduce the psychic energy that we're wasting. He says uh, to eliminate distractions in, the, uh, in your uh, workplace by uh, getting rid of anything that's not part of what you're working on. So you don't have piles of paper on your desk and you don't have an old broken printer underneath your desk. It's just uh, very clean environment uh, where you're focusing on your next actions. Another point he makes is uh, focus on outcomes and next actions. You need to be able to write down your outcome that you're trying to achieve so that you'll know when you're done and you need to clarify things as they come in. <clears throat> For example, if it's a uh, write, write your mother, you might uh, want to start out with writing an outline of uh, the letter. <coughs> uh, excuse me. And then uh, next action need to be very clear what that is. Mm. So the whole process is to kind of funnel uh, kind of vague things down into a very concrete crystal clear next action. So you start out at the uh, wide part of the funnel and this is a collect uh, uh, stage where you, you just as you're working you jot stuff down. I'm using abstract spoons to do list to help me keep organized with this. You can use anything you want but I highly recommend ad abstract spoon. Uh, and then you need to do a weekly review. This is very important. You need to uh, have your list all fresh so that they're valuable to you. Um, he uh, says it's like doing car maintenance. It's that important uh, to go through your list and sort them and delete anything you don't need so it'll be nice and fresh. In your, doing your weekly review, you're asking uh, of all the things you've collected, is it actionable or not? Okay, if it's actionable, it can go into, uh, if it's not actionable, it can go into three categories. It can, uh, you can put it in non-actionable incubate. That means I'll do it someday. These are your ideas that you're going to work on later. Uh, it may be non-actionable or reference material. You put it in your knowledge base or uh, I put it in knowledge base or code snippets. And then uh, third, you can uh, say, you know, I don't really need to do this anymore. I'll just delete it. 
and that's not really a file in ab abstract Aspen. It's uh, you're just deleting something. Okay. On the other hand, it can be actionable, and you may defer it to someone else. And so, if you've done that, you'll put it in an actionable waiting for file. And this means uh, that when the person finally does it, then you can uh, that'll tickle you to remember uh, to do something with it when it's I guess the stage projects. Uh, these are anything that take more than one step to accomplish and actionable next action is when you've narrowed it down to a simple next action. Okay, let's uh, move on to looking at Abstract Spoon to see how I've implemented this uh, GTD and that. Here we are in Abstract Spoon. Uh, and you'll see across the top here it has uh, different tabs, uh, knowledge base, collect, non-actionable, and so forth. Uh, these are the different uh, tab uh, files in uh, David Allen's system uh, that uh, I was talking about earlier. So let's look at this Horizons of Focus one here. Uh, uh, here we have the uh, 40,000 feet and so forth. Uh, and uh, for each uh, task, uh, you have a comments area where you can add uh, uh, more detail about what you're doing at that level. So, uh, the first where you start out is at the wide part of the funnel and collect. And here's uh, collect, and uh, here's some things that I've collected, and I need to organize them. Uh, what I'm going to do. But when you uh, create a new task, you do it by clicking on this green, bit large green uh, plus sign. And if it's a subtask, you use the smaller uh, plus sign. And once you add the new task, here I've added one, you'll want to put uh, what your outcome is. Specify an outcome. You can put next action. And you can copy images and so forth right into the uh, comments area. It's very nice. So, after you've collected it, you decide whether it's actionable or non-actionable. If it's non-actionable, we'll click on that. This, these are ideas that you're incubating. You might do them someday. You would like if you ever get the time. And so you just put them in there. And uh, and. The other non-actionable category is reference or knowledge base for me. And I also include in this code snippets. So here's what my knowledge base looks like. I have uh, everything all organized. Everything I try to only solve a problem once and put it in the knowledge base so next time I don't have to solve it again. And I have, uh, I, I even keep my passwords in here. So it's very handy. You can search against the knowledge base. And here's what the code snippets look like. My code snippets uh, are kept out on the web. You can save uh, these files either to your desktop or out to the web. And uh, these are just some of my code snippets, how they're organized and so forth. Okay, so if it's actionable, then you have a, a couple of options. Uh, you, you're waiting for somebody else to do it. Uh, or um, it can be a project uh, consisting more than one step or you can have narrowed it down to your next actions and uh, all, you, all you need to do is focus on this file most of the time, your next actions. Uh, that's it.